Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and we got Luna. <laughs> oh, look at that! Right on cue. How are you doing? So Luna has been not in. Whoa, very insistent. She has not been in videos lately because why? Because you got couch and futon privileges in the other room, so you don't want to be in this lame room, do you ever? But uh, anyway, uh, so she's gonna. <laughs> You want it or no? Yes or no? Is that, is that a yes or a no? Anyway, so uh, she's going to be here being a little insistent. I'm not sure what she wants. She's, she had a crazy day. She got half a chicken to eat. Futon privileges, couch privileges, everything. It's a great day. So this is X-Force number two, government name, legacy number 232. And this one was a weird one so comics are weird in general right now just the industry is weird marvel's weird everything's weird but this is like seems like a good faith effort to okay what do you guys want we want the original x just give us x force give us x force back we just want x force quit being weird this is how we are we're, we're going up to marvel and we're saying can you just give us x force please we just want it um but we got it back, <laughs> and I don't know if this is passive aggressive or it's just a good faith effort to try a different style. But what we get is, you know, we get a little intro, and then we get this, and we get this like awesome double page spread. Look at how cool this was, or it is. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Like the layout is cool, the colors are cool. The problem is we get this really, really indie style and the squished heads and it kind of reminds me of Gabriel Ba. Uh, this is how the, the bad guy looks. Everyone has these weird squished heads. No, actually it reminds me of uh, in Coraline. You know how everyone looks really weird? There's like this Russian gymnast guy. A lot of people look like him. So uh, we get this story that, man, if it had like a 90s style artist like I kept thinking it's like th th there's nothing wrong with this artist. He's fine. He's fine or he? Assuming Dylan Burnett um, It's a good artist, but he is a an indie artist. He's you know Dark Horse IDW black mask. Uh, he knows how to draw. He has his own style, but it really does not go well with X-Force which would be like big over-the-top action like I kept thinking, and this is all I can show, I kept thinking over and over and over again while reading this, it's like, this is John Malin. This is something that John Malin should be drawing. Or, or I was trying to think of what other uh, artists, but like I said, like this is cool, but the rest of it was just kind of like, man. So uh, the story was also a little frustrating because it's a refugee story that's very, very topical, and they decided to, ha to uh, handle it with zero subtly, subtlety, Zero, um, there's no like uh, shades of gray. There's no twist. It's not exciting. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a kind of a cool concept where there's this country, Transia, which builds itself as a refuge for mutants, and then mutants go there and they get enslaved. It's, you know, basically kind of like a, a trap version of Genosha, uh, or a reverse trap version of Genosha. But it just goes to say it's like, it's almost like a little shaggy dog story. It's like, okay, so it was, it's a trap. Okay, then take the people doing the trap and just capture them or something. The thing is, when you have a story, you know, obviously mutants have been used for all kinds of different discrimination um, uh, since the 60s. But you have some kind of like, you know, point to it. You know, you have the good mutants, the X-Men. And then you got Magneto, and so when people fear the mutants, it's not like they just said, let's just randomly fear mutants. They have mutants that will put fear into you. There are mutants that will do horrible things to you, and, and they vastly overpower you. So it was kind of an interesting thing. It's, you know, how to, how to learn to accept people who are very good, uh, some of them, and very bad others, and, and how not to carry over, you know, your negative feelings for one you shouldn't judge, you know, Kitty Pride for the actions of Magneto, and so there was some, there was some uh, subtlety to it, there was some humanity to it. 
This is just uh, uh, what if uh, what if refugees came in and then everyone was mean to them? It's like I don't know. Like there's things to do with the refugee story. What about a country? A country that out of you know the goodness of their heart they say mutants are having problems. Mutants, you have a refuge here, and this company is called Transia Country. And then they go there, and most of the mutants who go there are good. And then some of them, you know, basically uh, are criminals or terrorists. And so they're causing problems there. And then the regular people are like, uh, yeah, it was really cool. You know, the guy with angel wings came in. But there's this one guy who can make everyone's eyeballs ignite and then explode. And you let him in, too. So, you know, you deal with some of that. It's like, you know, well, don't judge everyone for them. We're going to handle that. Why did they get in? Was there a way that we could check? Stuff like this. This is just like, it, this is obviously a multi-part story, but it's like, if it's this simple, I mean, at the end, it's literally like, the bad guys have giant walking mechs that will hunt mutants. Um, there's, if it's this simple... It either needs to be a win issue story or zero. There's no twist. There's no elevation. There's no irony. There's no escalation. There's no actual allegory. It, it has nothing to do with any of the, you know, the major refugee situations that are going on right now. Uh, the, the one in Europe is probably the, the biggest one on international news. And then the, uh, the American southern border, that is, there are, well, there's, you know, different aspects of immigration, illegal immigration refugees, asylum, all that type of stuff. So there's ways to do it. You know what I mean? What if, you know, like the X, the X force comes in there, they get captured and they're like, look, like, you're being executed. Like we just changed the law. We're no longer taking any uh, mutants. And they're like, well, we're just here to check things. They're like, no, the law is any new mutants that come here, get executed. And then you get some weird story. You're like, well, should we rescue them? But you know, we had these problems with these people. What do we do? Tell a story. <laughs> like, this is, I don't even know, I wouldn't even call the whole refugee thing a story element. It's its just kind of like, I don't know, it's like this tree in the background. It's there. It's in the story. It's a tree. There are refugees in there. that That's the story. They're refugees. Okay. <laughs> and then we got this uh, new cable, or more technically, he's the old cable, as in the original cable, as in... I think that's an interesting storyline, but like I said, this stuff is like, this is supposed to be um, Shatterstar, and it just isn't. It's also really weird that Domino's in this thing, and she like barely talks at all. Um, so overall, like, they're, they're, this is generally a book of good intentions. Like, they're trying. First of all, this artist, who's the cover artist? Not the co Why do they do this stuff? Conan versus variant cover artist. S stupid. Okay, Pepe Larraz. Pepe Larraz is good. He was doing the earlier. Uh, no, he wasn't doing. He was doing that Weapon X team book. Um, uh, but he's who I want on this. You know, get Pepe Larraz. He's good. Look at this. That looks so cool. I don't know why it doesn't bother me that Deathlock is on this team, but it doesn't bother me. I think it's cool. Um, it's a good team. It's, you know, cool uniforms. It's what we want. Ed Brisson did a pretty good job, but you need to do something with this refugee thing. Or, you know, they're, 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 you know, they're bringing mutants in there and then they're like flinging them into the future for the future to deal with them. Something. Do something with it. Yeah, I ask you to do something. Oh, she got a little. Sorry. Sorry. I get kind of worked up when I'm talking about Marvel Comics. It makes you kind of sleepy. I got kind of sleepy, so it's both going to fall asleep to this story that could have been interesting, and then it just wasn't. I'm trying to get you to go to sleep. It's the camera. She's not going to be able to fall asleep. Uh, but anyway, uh, tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about this run on X-Force. Like, oh, I got to I gotta show you something else. A nightmare happened to them. It's the, th it's the thing that I was freaking out for for like two months with my Jawbreaker's Lost Soul, which is, uh, it's at the distributors, it's going out. It should be going out. You guys, if you're close to the distributor, I think you, some people might start getting it next week. Uh, look, the page didn't print correctly. And, I, and I, I spent a while trying to figure out if this was an artistic choice, but I, 
it looks like everything is not set correctly. Either it's not set correctly or the artist made a really weird artistic choice just to tilt two of the pages. But I don't think so. I think it was just whatever, you know, the 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 plate was not set correctly when they were doing the printing and uh, instead of like roasting was like, ah, you're so stupid. Like now that I've been through all this stuff, it's just like from my heart to yours, I understand. Um, so uh, yeah, and you can see like things are a little off right there. Thing. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be seeing this you shouldn't be seeing this page uh, you know you know what I mean so anyway uh, it's not a recommend um, it's uh, there's nothing like oh you guys you guys are terrible but uh, get John Malin on this why don't you get John Malin call John Malin I even know he's working on stuff but you could at least call him uh, anyway thanks for watching subscribe um, make sure you're still subscribed it, oh, I've been zoomed in this whole time. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone uh, who gave to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. And I'll have more new comic reviews up tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.